In this video, we're going to talk about how to make an electrochemical cell. Now, just a reminder that an electrochemical cell is the same thing as a voltaic cell. You may see that word used interchangeably in your textbook and also in the notes and in the um, online homeworks. So don't be confused by that. Now, the important thing to keep in mind is that in a voltaic cell, this is a cell reaction that occurs spontaneously. This is the kind of reaction you want in a battery. So one of the things that I will ask you to do is draw an electrochemical cell. So let's, let's go through the process of sketching that. So here's beaker number one. We've got a strip of metal in there. And I'll let you choose which metals you use. Then we've got our wire. We've got our second piece of metal. And beaker number two. Now the solution you use and the metal you use are completely your choice. And then we've got our light bulb. And so now we've got the basics drawn. Now let's fill it in with the essential information that you'll need to make this a, a full, complete circuit. First thing you'll need is some sort of salt bridge or porous disc. So you can indicate it like that, or you can draw a loop going in between them. Either one will work. The salt bridge, the purpose of the salt bridge is to transfer ions, okay? Whereas electrons transfer through the wire. This is a really common mistake I see students make. I will ask students on an exam, what is transferred through the salt bridge? And they'll tell me electrons. That's not correct. Okay, the purpose of the salt bridge is to transfer ions between the two sides, whereas the electrons are what travel through your wire. Now we need to go through the chemistry of it. So if we're gonna be generating electrons, that needs to be um, an oxidation reduction reaction that produces an electron. So let's just use, for instance, Cu solid, going to Cu2 plus Aq plus 2E minus. So that process is occurring here. Now let's figure out what's going on over here. The electrons are transferring over here. That must be a reduction. So let's just pretend we've got Ag plus Aq plus E minus becoming Ag solid. Now we would need to identify the cathode and the anode. So if you remember the mnemonic device uh, red cat, reduction occurs at the cathode. All right, so which one of these is reduction? This is reduction. So therefore, this is the cathode, and this is the anode. And my electrons are always going to flow in a particular direction, right? They're going to flow from where they are generated to where they are consumed. So there is only one direction that electrons are flowing. All right, I hope this video helps you in your drawing of electrochemical cells. 